What's up YouTube? I'd just like to take a few minutes out of this video to thank you guys, the viewers, because recently I just hit 15,000 views on my channel and I cannot believe it. And it's all thanks to you guys. This has inspired me to put more videos up. So what I'd like from you guys is if you haven't already, go down and hit the subscribe button and leave me some comments about what you guys would like to see in future videos. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. So with that out of the way, next we'll be making these adorable pet tutus for your dog or cat. Next. Today I'm going to show you how to make simple, easy tutus for your pets. To make these tutus, you're going to need some tool. Now I was given a bag of scrap fabric and it had about, I'd say six to eight yards of this purple tool in it. But to make one tutu, you're going to need about two and a quarter to two and a half yards. Now I've also seen tool sold on a roll and it's six inches by 25 yards. So you'll just need one roll of that or two if you want two different colors in your tutu. You're also going to need a knit headband. Now I got this one at Walmart. It came in a three pack for a couple dollars. It had two white ones and one black one and I'm going to use the black one today. You can find these in the craft section with the buttons and the zippers and things like that. And you're also going to need a tall jar or something to fit the headband around and that just makes it a lot easier to tie these tutus. This one's great because it's a square and since we're making these for a dog or a cat, we're only going to cover three quarters of the headband with the tool and leave the bottom part free for the pet. You could also use a half gallon milk jug or even I've seen people use those cardboard concrete tubes. Now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to put our headband around our jar. I like to put the seam of the headband on the bottom part where we're not going to put any tool. Now you just want to set this aside. Next, we're going to cut our tool. So for one tutu, you're going to need 50 pieces of tulle that are 6 inches by 12 inches. My tool is about 48 inches wide, so I folded it in half one time, and then I'm going to fold it in half again. So this part right here is about 12 inches, and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it 6 inches wide. Now in order to get our 6 by 12 pieces, you just want to come over here and cut the folds here. There should be two and then one fold over here. And now I have four pieces, roughly 6 inches by 12 inches. Now because these are for pets, it's really not that big of a deal if it's not perfect. I don't think puppy or kitty is going to mind. And like I said, I'm going to need 50 of these. So I'll be right back when I'm done cutting this all up. Now you want to get your jar with your headband on it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one piece of tool and we're going to fold it in half the long way or the hot dog way. And then we're going to, I like to spin, twist the tool a little bit, and that just helps it go through a little easier. And now we're going to make a loop. If you can see that. Now to attach this tool to the headband, you just want to pick it what square you want to start with and like I said we're only going to cover three quarters of the circumference of this headband. 
So I'm going to start right here on the corner. Stick your loop of tool through that square so that you have a circle here and your two ends down here. We're going to stick our ends through the loop and pull. And I'll show you that again. Take your tool. We're going to fold it in half the long way. Then, like I said, I like to give it a little twist to make it easier to go through the headband. Make your loop and just go through the next square. You want your two ends to be somewhat even, so if one side's longer than the other when they come through your loop, just give the shorter side a pull first until they're even, and then just pull the rest. Now we're just going to keep doing that until we've got 25 pieces of tool around our headband. You could just stop there, but I want mine a little bit fuller, so I'm going to add a second row. I have seen these done before where people put three rows on, but I think it's a little too much fluff for a pet one. If you're making these for a child, I would go ahead and put three rows on. Now for our second row, you can see here that we used this square for our first row, and some people then do the second set of squares for their second row. I find it kind of hard, and the first row of tool kind of gets in your way. So what I like to do is skip the second row and then just go to the third row of squares, right above your first one, and start there. And using the same process, folding it in half, give it a little twist, make a loop and we're just going to go through that third square up. You want to make sure that you're not pulling your first layer through and just give it a pull. Now we're going to do that all the way around. All right, guys, and there you go. I just finished the second layer of tool on our pet tutu here, and I think it's just beautiful. These don't just have to be for dogs. As you can see, Chloe also loves hers. Now, I hope you give these easy pet tutus a try. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.